How's it going guys? I love music videos and my bro Adam Grasso loves music videos. He lives over in Budapest, Hungary. He's a new guest teacher on the channel and what I asked him in this video is to spread some light on some of the unsung heroes, aka the music video directors, of some of the top music videos that we love to watch and ogle about. Adam, the floor is yours. Music videos, I love them, Joshua loves them, and my cat Chili over here especially loves them. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five incredibly talented music video filmmakers. First up, Hiro Marai. Does this video look familiar to you? Well, Hiro directed it, including a bunch of other early and iconic Childish Gambino videos that established him as the mainstream artist that he is today. The genius of Hiro's work is that despite the decent budget of his videos, the concepts in principle are fairly straightforward. Gambino looping for a diner as multiple versions of himself show up. Rollerblading girls with choreographed dancing along a nighttime road mixed with simple transitions that help blend the cuts together, and a human statue that ultimately crumbles to pieces on the floor of a museum. It's the development of these concepts and how they're prevented visually that really elevates the unique qualities of all of Hero's videos. Unlike some of the other directors that you're gonna see on this list, Hero's are a lot less explicitly connected to any sort of signature style, with each video being pretty distinct from one to the other. Though common threads can actually be found, such as single locations where the concepts take place within, be it an industrial area, a restaurant, or a church. These are containers to help each artist communicate the messages within their tracks through performances that are atypical, but ultimately embedded with narratives and symbolism that perhaps would be a lot harder to notice by simply listening to the track alone. One of Hero's closest collaborators is Childish Gambino, who he's made over five videos for now. From exploring themes of existential loneliness in the video for 3005, to This Is America's commentary on the state of political and cultural divides across the US. It's a testament to how his strong collaboration with musicians like Gambino, who are open to experimentation while also staying conscious of the core concepts to portray in each song, helped shape their close creative connection together from release to release. It's been incredible to follow Hero's journey as he grows along with these musicians, through concepts aligned so beautifully with each song, that it's no wonder how he cemented himself as one of the greatest new wave music video directors out there. I've also heard that his first dramatic TV series, Atlanta, is incredible too, so I'm definitely gonna give that a watch soon. Anton Tammy. Anton's videos are mesmerizing, combining stunning imagery, frisson-inducing sound sound design breaks, and concepts that skillfully showcase the atmospheres his artist's songs elicit for the listeners. Editing is where Anton's magic really happens, with he himself stating that editing is where he really writes his videos. And you can see this even in his first video release, where he somehow manages to make shots of a crab, marble, and a scorpion more engaging than about 90% of the music videos out there. VFX and camera technique wise, I'd argue he doesn't do anything super complicated, with things like match cuts, speed ramps, and flare effects overlapping from shot to shot, all helping to blend together the scenes of his videos seamlessly. But the fact that these effects are not complicated in their nature shouldn't take anything away from how incredible some of these transitions are. Honestly, they're literally some of the best that I've ever seen in music videos. His second video, Hunger, is perhaps the origins of his signature style. With a seemingly insignificant mix of images blended together through textures, transitions, and VFX that are hard to avoid being captivated by throughout its four minute long duration. Sound design is a big part of Anton's style. As he'll often break away from the video's music entirely to emphasize audio elements that enhance or relate to the images that we see on screen. Here's a really great illustration of this. The most well-known content that you've probably seen of Anton's work are the quadrilogy pieces that he created for the weekend's latest album, After Hours, with each one blending narrative threads together from video to video. This is such a great way to handle the short form nature of the music video medium while still building a bigger universe around an artist's overall vision. It's pretty hard to reach higher heights of music video success than shooting a music video for the weekend. So I'm very curious about the kinds of visual masterpieces that Anton is gonna put out next. Next on the list, a brother. These guys are next level when it comes to insane editing effects. Mixed camera formats, multiple VFX slash CG styles, and some incredible sound design breaks culminating in an overload of visual stimulation. It's no wonder that Brother have paved a path for a super trendy aesthetic that, by their own admission, is often copied by a lot of up and coming filmmakers. Even I was heavily inspired by them during the creation of my latest music video project. Somehow, despite all of these crazy editing techniques, their videos are not style over substance, because the substance ends up informing a style that is ultimately added in the post-production phase. A good example of this is with their Jesse Ware Tough Love video, in which the effects that Brother are now known for are pretty tame in nature, due to the more melodic pace and energy of the song, versus their recent Grimes collaboration, which is an explosion of visual effects styles. I'd highly recommend that you check out their take of a collaboration with The Weeknd, in comparison to how Anton Tammy handled his approach.
approach. In a way, both of these directors share a lot of similarities, but are different enough so that their signature styles shine through any collaborations that they craft. Brother must have messed around for hours and hours in their editing software to get effects that look this good. But the great thing about living in the glorious year that is 2022 is that putting your own spin on a Brother style is way easier than it's ever been before, thanks to sites like Envato Elements. You can grab cool VHS overlays, light leaks, and millions, yes, that's millions with a capital M, of other cool graphic and visual elements for you to use in your next project. Now you might be thinking, no, I'm a real filmmaker. I wanna make all of my effects by hand and from scratch. And you could go down this route if you have the time. But let's be honest, for many instances, people are not gonna be able to tell the difference between whether you actually made the element or not. Like these flare transitions that I used on one of my music videos. I downloaded them from a motion element site, just like in Vato. And by tweaking the original flares with After Effects masks, they became unique assets that perfectly suit my project. All of us filmmakers are definitely guilty of spending way too much time sat in front of our computers. When we could be outside the house, chilling with friends and family, or spending more time with this fluffy guy. And that's what Envato Element is gonna help you with. Less hours spent in front of your computer screen doing tech heavy tasks and more time spent doing the fun creative things that will actually make a project stand out in your portfolio. And the best thing about Envato Elements is that you can grab a free one week trial right now with our very special link in the description. And you know what else is special? Being so good as a musician that you can make any of your fans pregnant with a simple guitar riff. Cue our next directors, Daniels. So many music videos nowadays are just... How can I put this? Bland. Rappers rap into camera in pretty meh locations and that's pretty much the whole video concept in a nutshell. But Daniels know what matters most when it comes to making viral music videos. Making the idea stick in your head long after you've watched it play out. Cue a guy wildly humping furniture and a grandma shaking her melons uncontrollably. Oh, and this guy is actually one of the two Daniels that make up the directing duo. So they're pretty talented actors too. Videos of a whimsical comedic nature are the core foundations of what Daniels bring to the table. This metaphorical table being the thousands of music videos that are released every single year that don't leave any kind of memorable impression on the viewers that watch them. It's exactly this kind of weird music video genre that gets people sharing it around the internet like wildfire, with the music often being a secondary reason for the video's success. Practical compositing effects often show up in a Daniels video, like match cuts to help blend elements of the scene together, which is both hilarious and inspiring because in an interview, they said that they didn't know how to do any VFX work, so practical effects was the only way that they could achieve what they had in their heads. And yet practical effects like this have managed to remain as a core element within their style. I really admire this early work, including the projects that weren't even music videos, as they were simply putting into practice their incredibly strange ideas and acting in them themselves, rather than relying on finding a suitable actor who understood their ideas as well as they did themselves. Like Hiro Mirai, narrative elements that progress during the video structure help keep you on your toes throughout every sequence. Take for instance their video for Joyway's track Tongues. We start with a group of nudists that are running through the woods and then the hunters come, but instead of shooting them dead, they shoot clothes back onto them. And by the video's culmination, one of the nudists transformed into a big clothing monster. Yeah, their videos are pretty bizarre. As of recently, Daniels have moved into the feature film realm, with their two debut features, Swiss Army Man and Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's so great to see quirky music video styles translate so seamlessly across to feature length projects. And it should be incredibly encouraging for all of us music video lovers out there, knowing that carving out a space within this medium can open up so many doors for the kind of heights that you can reach as a filmmaker. Casey Locke. Casey has ramped up the production quality for videos that some of the best upcoming rap and grime artists are putting out back in my home turf of Manchester. From humble beginnings working as a chef and wedding photographer while shooting really low budget music videos with his mates, to now being one of the fastest rising talents in the UK music video scene. His staple of beautifully executed, vibey performance video concepts to complement the song seamlessly are masterful in their ability to grab you right from the offset. One of the most obvious visual elements you'll notice when watching a Casey Lock video is these intro title card elements in his edits, which are always aesthetically different depending on the artist or the particular song. I really like his use of these being more than just to serve an introductory purpose to the video, as they also say a lot about the shooting environment that Casey wants to create amongst his collaborators. In interviews, he comes across as a very humble and down-to-earth guy, and the fact that he's willing to give such explicit credit to even just the trainees that work on his projects says a lot about the love and appreciation that he has for the team that helped make these projects come to life. 
Like Hiro Mirai, Casey's style is less explicit across all of his work, unlike some of the other directors in this list. As instead, the style and techniques are more connected to each artist's particular aesthetics that he collaborates with. Seamless match cuts and blended transitions within his collaborations with the artist H, and color dripped, saturated sci-fi tones, and bloomy highlights in his collaborations with Hex. He's also expressed how he'd rather shoot many videos for an artist, so over time, they're able to refine and improve their style across collaborations from video to video and how these kinds of close relations and friendships ultimately build a lot of trust in one another, therefore resulting in better music videos. More recently, with budgets growing from project to project, he's been utilizing a lot of robotic motion control arms as a part of the concepts, like in this video for Meeks right here. I love seeing how bigger and bigger budgets are letting Casey flex his creativity in more engaging and unique ways. So be sure to keep your eyes open for his future projects. If you want to see more music video breakdowns like this, then be sure to check out my own YouTube channel in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out that Envato Elements link too, so you can play around with your own really cool music video effects. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.